M to the A to the Y to the A and welcome to another video today. Welcome back to my video. Keep watching and you'll see how do we get to this hair and inside of another video you'll see how do we get to this face. So we got a 14, 16, and 18 inch bundle with a 12 inch 7x7 closure all by Queen Like Hair that I bought off of AliExpress. I decided to sew the closure the night before so all we're gonna do today is worry about coloring that bad boy and if you really want to know how do you sew this maybe I'll make a separate video a very detailed one on how do you sew your wig so all we're gonna do is section off the closure then do two smaller sections using the well whatever is left of the hair duh So now that you have your sections together, which should look something like this, you're going to take your BW bleaching powder and a 40 volume developer. Mine is by Wella Charm. I've learned that the Wella Charm developer seems to work a whole lot quicker than the other ones. It's a little bit more money, but it does seem to work a whole lot faster. I have no idea why. That's just what I've learned. So I'm gonna use at least six scoops of this white bleaching powder. So I'm just gonna go right on ahead, get that Wella Charm developer out, and first start off with a little bit to make sure you're kind of sort of getting the consistency right. But at the same time, we'll use a little bit because if you use too much at the same time, the moment when you start, to stir it around, it starts to get messy. So a little bit at a time seems to work out for me because I'm clumsy, so anything that doesn't make me make a mess works for me. So you're just gonna go right in ahead and just spin it around until it gets kind of sort of soupy. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of conditioner, not expensive conditioner because I'm gonna rinse it out anyway. And I'm only putting it in the bleach so that it doesn't damage the hair. Because when you spend money on hair that doesn't grow out of your head, you kind of want to take care of it because I don't want to cut it or make it burn. So we're just going to go around ahead and do that. We're going to add some conditioner to our bleach so that this hair does not burn, get damaged. So now that it's kind of sort of soupy, you're going to go right on. Well, not really soupy. It's like kind of thick, well, thick soup like chicken soup you ever had chicken soup like jamaican chicken soup it's kind of thick so kind of like that when you get to that type of consistency now you can start putting the bleach all over the hair and since i do want dark roots i am only doing about a quarter from the roots i'm bleaching and don't be so harsh when applying the bleach so you're not going to put it in a straight line you kind of want to go up and down with your brush in a way you if you're visual like me, you can see what I'm doing and understand what do I mean by that, but you don't want like a harsh ombre line, if that makes sense. Thank you. 
when you get to your closure area you want to make sure that you're doing it in smaller sections so that you actually grab all of the hairs that you need you also want to make sure that you are not touching the lace too much as well and you want to make sure that you get you put the bleach to where you want your color to be then after about 20 30 minutes it turns this blondish color very quickly and the leftover bleach I put it on the knots so now I'm just gonna take the emerald dye and neon green dye an indigo blue and a hunter green dye and I'm going to you need three bowls I'm gonna put the hunter green along with the neon green in one bowl and just mix that around I want my hair to have gradient inside of it I don't want it to be just a harsh green or a harsh dark green then I'm just gonna take the emerald and the indigo blue and put that as well in another bowl I'm using more emerald blue as opposed to the indigo blue same way how I use more hunter green than the neon green and then the last bowl you're just gonna mix all four of these colors together like a little bit of everything because it makes this a tint kind of sort of like a bluish greenish tint and that's what I'm going for so now you're just gonna swatch it on a paper towel because if you're like me and you don't really have different color bowls, you kinda wanna know what's in what bowl. So I'm just gonna make swatches, then put them in front of the bowl so that I know what color it is. But you see, that's what I mean. It makes a different color when you mix all of the colors together. First, we're gonna start off with the hunter green with the neon green at the root area. We're gonna start off with that shade. Then we're gonna go in with the blue shade on the next section like towards the bottom you use one fourth one fourth and then however much you want the ends to be and then the bowl that has all of the colors mixed together we're gonna put that towards the very very bottom the ends of the hair and you're just gonna continue this process over and over again until you get this dark green to blue to a lighter green towards the bottom So now that we are at the top of this, this is where I start alternating where I start to put the blue at the base, then the green at the bottom. Instead of doing dark green, blue, light green. So I go blue, then green. Because this is where I start running out of the colors. And then eventually whatever leftover dye I have, I go back over whatever I missed with it. So whatever still has a blonde piece, I'm going to go over it with the leftover dye. Now that you're done, your hair should look something like this with your knots bleached, looking like scalp, and then your hair going from green to blue, or blue to green with a gradient. You're just gonna leave this on for about, I left it on for two and a half hours because I honestly forgot about it. Then after the two hours, I wash it in silicone shampoo and then silicone conditioner because this hair went through bleach and color in one day and I don't really want damaged hair. That and it brings back the softness and it's not as harsh when you use silicon products inside of your wig hairs. It retains the moisture, makes it softer, it won't shed, it will have a really, really nice baby powder scent to it as well. And it's not harsh on the hair, so that's why I use it. And for as far as the conditioner goes, which you'll see later on, I'm gonna use the conditioner, but then I'm gonna put it in a plastic bag and leave it alone to deep condition for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna let the hair air dry.
Now that your hair is perfectly air dried and shows up with this nice blue and green mixture, I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna blow dry it. I'm just gonna, cause if I blow dry it, then it gets pinched straight and I kinda sort of like my hair a little bit frizzy. So I'm just gonna go right in ahead with my curling iron and add some nice voluminous luscious curls to my hair. of the hair I am going to pluck a little bit of it off so that it is a little bit more thinned out but I'm not going to take so much off because hair does tend to shed as time goes on anyway so I want it to be thick but not thick at the same time if that makes any sort of sense if you want a video on how do you pluck your lace leave it in the comment section I will take it into consideration and probably do a video on it but I'm just gonna get a pair of tweezers and section off like small sections of this closure and thin it out a little bit because I don't need that harsh line in the front. My own hair does not have that, so I do not want that. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what we want, a little bit more thinned out. That's what we want. So now I'm just gonna take some foaming mousse and put that inside of the parting area so that it lays flat and it becomes shiny. And so that it stays molded inside of that parting so that there's no flyaways, no nothing. Then I'm gonna use my curling iron and just press down directly on the center part of it so that it lays down flat. And then my 
my left side going towards the right so in other words my left side is gonna go under the wand my right side is going to go over the wand because i want the curl to go in the opposite direction of my face away from my face so it's not in my face Go on, honey, strut, show off that hair, show off that hair, that green, that blue, that ah, uh, everything. Go on ahead, show that part. What type of part is that, honey? A seven by seven closure with a deep part. Yes. Show the hair, flip the hair, wave the hair, enjoy the hair, feel the wind in your hair. Thanks for watching.